heel. Set. The non-judgmental ability of a dog to perform tasks with unconditional love has evolved with man for thousands of years. Retrieving Freedom is continuing to advance this evolution by partnering these dogs with individuals in need of their special abilities. The ability of a service dog to allow a disabled veteran or a child with autism to regain their independence in life from simply sustaining to thriving is the mission of Retrieving Freedom. Retrieving Freedom spends two years training specific dogs to place with disabled veterans and individuals with autism. As a 501c3 nonprofit organization, we strive to maximize the value of your donation by incorporating experienced volunteers, in-kind donations, and a limited staff. Returning from a deployment in a combat zone should feel like a win, yet the limitations of a physical disability or post-traumatic stress can cause anything but a celebration. Over the length of my tour in Iraq, I had about 14 IEDs explode within 100 meters of my vehicle, and many times which put my soldiers' lives in danger. Some of those things that we went through, experienced together, um, have, been, have had long, lifelong lasting impacts. One of the things that I have an issue with since being diagnosed with post-traumatic stress is being in large crowds, particularly the grocery store. I have a problem with people getting too close to me, and that's kind of a uh, reaction from some of the things that have happened overseas. So when I need space between myself and another person, Nala helps make that space. I can just tap my leg and tell her behind and she will instantly give me that space from that person behind me. And I can tell her the same way to the front or any of the sides. Through Retrieving Freedom, I was able to gain some of the freedom that I lost due to my diagnosis. They provided a, a resource for me through a dog and through a support network that has made the world difference in my life. Those type of things you don't find every day. And organizations like Retrieving Freedom do that every day. They change lives. They make a difference in veterans and children with autism. There's veterans that wouldn't be able to do anything. They would just live a life behind a closed door if it wasn't for what Retrieving Freedom does. It's a godsend. It can be a difficult struggle for many returning veterans to reintegrate back into the community. Our goal is to provide independence to the lives of these special veterans with dogs trained to perform specific tasks for their disabilities. Push. That's it. That's it. Good. That boy. Good. On a daily basis, Kevin uh, will help me pick up items from the floor, such as my wallet, cell phone, car keys. Um, from the grocery store and I drop my credit card or my, my, my bank card, he can pick it up for me. The biggest thing is he helps me regain independence. Freedom is paid by blood, not by taxation, and it is inhumane for veterans to come home from war to a country that they fought for to obtain and sustain freedom, and they come home and they're trapped in their own country. Before receiving Kevin from Retrieving Freedom, I was in a dark place, a bad place, and Retrieving Freedom is, is was my doorway to freedom. Now that I have Kevin from Retrieving Freedom, they helped me break through the wall that I was against. Definitely Retrieving Freedom should be supported. Tips saved my life, and you can't put a price on that. So, I mean, anything that somebody's willing to donate, monetary-wise, is worth 10 times that. Autism is a complex developmental disorder that affects the brain's normal development of social and communication skills and is currently being diagnosed in children at an alarming rate. Life with an autistic child is like um, taking a bomb with you everywhere you go and not knowing when the bomb is going to explode and how much collateral damage there's going to be when it happens. Life before we had our service dog, too, um, was 24 hours a day. We were in fear of Tristan's safety, and so, it, you know, we felt stressed out. It was chaotic, and we were in fear. The needs of individuals with autism can be met by a service dog in many ways. A dog can become the social bridge for these children when therapy falls short, often spurring new and improved communication skills. Tracking is a specific trained task to teach a dog to find a hiding or missing child. 
One thing that we had always been so concerned about was Corbin bolting. He does it mainly when he gets upset if he's overstimulated. Tethering is a system that attaches the dog's service vest and belt on a child. The dog is trained to lay down any time the child attempts to bolt. With Jet, it's so much easier because we tether Jet to Corbin and we know that Corbin can't get away from us, um, so if I'm distracted for a minute trying to pay for groceries or something like that, it's not going to end in um, losing my child, so very thankful for that. Snuggling is a task dogs are taught to comfort the child in times of panic and high anxiety. The nonverbal communication skills of a dog, coupled with their task training, make a perfect combination to keep a child safe and able to cope in social situations. Two is our angel on earth. Without the support of Retrieving Freedom, there's no way that this would have been possible for our family. Um, they, they are the reason we have our dog today and the reason that we have um, a more brightful future for Tristan and the reason we have less stress. They're the reason for everything and, and without their help and support and the donations from thousands and the volunteers, you know, this would have never been possible for our family. Jet has brought us a sense of relief to our whole family, just a sense of peace. Thank you for donating to Retrieving Freedom. You've changed the life of our son Corbin and also the life and the course of our entire family. Thank you. If I had a chance to meet somebody that had donated money to help my son, I think I would first give them a big hug and possibly cry and tell them they have no earthly idea how much this means to us and how much this has changed his life in our lives. After several months of training with both the service dog and the individual, Retrieving Freedom hosts a graduation ceremony where the service dog is turned over to the recipient to take home permanently. For the trainers, the veterans, the families, and the individual and corporate sponsors, the long-awaited day of placement is filled with tears of joy, pride in participation, and anticipation of another life changed, and in some cases saved. Our goal is to have many more of these days in retrieving freedom's future. With the thousands of volunteer hours and in-kind contributions nearly doubling the value of each dollar donated, the direct cost of placing a fully trained service dog still exceeds $20,000. Retrieving Freedom needs your help in funding the incoming service dog requests that are outweighed by our production four to one. Giving monthly is a reliable and assured way for you to know that your donation will go directly to help offset the expenses associated with the total production cost of these life-changing and oftentimes life-saving skillfully trained service dogs for our veterans and our families with autism. Your pledge can be set up one of two ways, either using a credit card, or having it directly debited from your bank account. No amount is too small. Each day, 22 veterans take their own life. And one out of 68 children will be diagnosed with autism. With your monthly pledge, more of these incredibly trained service dogs can be put into service to help fulfill this increasing need. Please help us and become part of the Retrieving Freedom team.